I got the moves. I got the moves. I'm making moves. You gotta move. You gotta make the city move. I make the city move. I got the move. Scotty Pippen, a seven time All Star, six time NBA champion, seven time All NBA player, and Hall of Famer, will eternally be known as the great sidekick of Michael Jordan. But what everyone seems to forget is how great of a player he was without the GOAT. In today's video, I will be taking a look at the year Scotty Pippen nearly won MVP and remind everyone about it as no one seems to remember it. If you're new here and enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe for more NBA content. But with that being said, let's get right into this video. The year is 1993, and Michael Jordan had just shocked the whole world by announcing a premature retirement out of nowhere. After three-peating, Jordan had decided to honour his father, who had recently been murdered, by playing professional baseball. This left the NBA in shock, as well as the Bulls, and it left the door wide open for a championship run by another NBA team that wasn't Chicago. Going into this season, the expectations for the Bulls were very low. No one knew how good this team would do with their superstar player out of the roster. In fact, if you go all the way back to 1993, prior to the 93-94 season, there are articles out there of expert analysts predicting the Bulls to be just average, nothing special. Pippen, however, did not want that to happen. Pippen went out and balled for Chicago in 94, averaging 22 points, almost 9 rebounds, close to 6 assists, and an insane 3 steals per game. It was such a good year, and it continuously gets overlooked. Not only that, the Chicago Bulls were not average either, like many analysts predicted. They finished as the third seed, behind only the Knicks and the Hawks, shy of two games from them. Scottie Pippen would then go on to have a great playoff run for himself, where he averaged 23 points per game, 8 rebounds, and 2.5 and steals, shooting pretty efficiently throughout. The Jordanless Bulls swept the Cavs and took the second seed New York Knicks to seven games, where they unfortunately lost, but you couldn't deny just how good of a year the Bulls had, led by Scottie Pippen himself. Due to this great season, Scottie finished third in MVP voting, which is crazy to think about. With Jordan, Scotty was a legitimate star, a legend of the game who helped the Chicago Bulls create one of the most historic dynasties in all of sports. But without Jordan, Pippen barely faltered and had a historic year of his own and nearly took home the MVP. And for some reason, I've seen no one really talk about it. Maybe it's because he didn't win the MVP. Maybe it's because they were second round exits that year. I'm not sure. But Scottie Pippen took the overlooked Bulls, fresh off a three-peat, without their superstar MJ, who was the heart and soul of that franchise, to a surprise third seed and a good playoff run, and it deserves way more attention. But what do you guys think of this? Have you heard of this great season by Scottie Pippen? And do you think it deserves more attention? In my opinion, it does. I think Scottie Pippen is way too underrated and really should be known as more than just MJ's sidekick. Let me know in the comments below what you think. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop it a like and subscribe. But with that being said, I am out. Peace.